so we got away from completely who we are, our, ident our identity, and how we have to play. Um, you know, from the get go, we, we, you know, they wanted to, we want to control the game, and they had total control of it with very good players. I mean, this team is three and eight in their last, coming into this game now, four and eight in Mountain West games. And, that's really good players, but we uh, we played right into their hands, and maybe we got a little comfortable for whatever reason because of our youth. But the great thing is, I have a team in our locker room that understands why they lost, and everybody has each other's back, and we we'll move forward. Larry, what was your view of what happened when JD went down? Well, it was a clean play. Um, you know, he just ran into a screen. It was simple as that. But this started before the game with, with just some things that that we don't do. You know, we got caught up in it in the moment. But um, I am, I don't understand, because they didn't have footage of it, but their team came out on the court and our team stayed on the bench. They had two assistant coaches ejected, and yet no free throws were shot. So I don't understand all that, but I mean, the game could have gone the other way pretty quick. Just, but the, the screen was legal. We just didn't call it out. And we started from the beginning killing. We just closed out on the wrong side. They drove us over the top. And just Prentice blocked the shot, but he shouldn't have even been in the situation, if you remember, early in the half. Where should have been inside the guy and stole the bounce pass. So we were a step late all over the place. But um, New Mexico's capable of, of chirping that way. And uh, we got caught up in, to it at the end. And I thought, I don't know what it looked like to you guys, but I thought we, we finally got under control. We just didn't even take a shot at the end. Just got the game over with and moved forward. Did you kind of feel like they took your game to you with the physical play and, and, and the way they were running on offense, kind of what you guys do when you're playing well, they sort of did it back to you? Well, I don't think so. I, I think um, our, our team always plays hard. And uh, um, I, I just thought, Again, I'm repeating myself, we got away from who we are and what we do. Um, but if you watch New Mexico play the last three games before this game, it's a completely different team. And, and congrats to them. I mean, they, they really played well. They were extremely well coached tonight, today. And, uh, you know, we just dug too big of a hole. I thought if it was an 80 minute game, what could happen and it did happen. Did you catch them at a pretty bad time though? I mean considering they are kinda on this losing streak and they're yeah. be fired up to, you know, do anything they can to break out of it. Yeah, I mean I've never seen a, a the way a team has lost against a bad I've, I've never seen that in all my years. I really haven't. I don't watch a lot of college basketball but I haven't watched that because I was catching a flight. And uh, I mean I think it was under three minutes they were down seventeen. Shouldn't have lost. I mean, it wasn't. The bat made some unbelievable shots. So this was a huge game for them. Um, obviously, our team we didn't quite understand who was going to show up here, and uh, um, and they and then the Colorado State's basketball is relevant regardless if you have seven guys on the roster with injuries or whatever reason. It's relevant. We don't get anybody's. We don't find anybody that that is a ready class. How is JD? He's okay. He's got a little headache. But, um, I mean, think he'll be okay <laughs> for Fresno, or hard to say. Okay for 